Welcome to DHL Express. Today we will demonstrate how to create a shipment using EmailShip. Open the EmailShip PDF form, noting you will require the latest version of Adobe Reader. You can complete the form in numerical order. Please ensure all fields marked with an asterisk are completed as these are mandatory. The DHL email ship form includes three pages. Page one, the shipment form. Page two, the customs document. And page three, the pickup form. Let's start on page one, step one. Select the charge to payer and enter the payer account number. You may click here to include insurance and enter the value in local currency. For international document shipments, you are also able to select the shipment liability option. Step 2, Shipper's Details. Ensure you have entered the shipper's account number. If you selected the shipper to pay, this will automatically populate. Enter the details of the shipper. In the city field, enter the city that best matches the postcode you have entered. For example, Sydney is for postcode 2000. Please also ensure to enter a shipper's phone number. Step three, the receiver's details. Ensure to commence with selecting the receiver country. You may choose to save the receiver address for future use by clicking the save button. You can also view all saved addresses by clicking list. Step 4 Products and Services Select the product or service you wish to ship on. If you would like to notify the recipient of the shipment details, tick this box and enter the email address. Step 5 Shipment Details Enter the number of pieces along with the weight and dimensions per piece. If you require to add more lines, please click More. Step 6. Enter the description of contents here. Step 7. For international non-document shipments, please enter the declared value of the goods here. Select if the export is permanent, temporary or a repair return. Next confirm who will be absorbing any duties and tax charges should they be applicable. If there is a specified approved account number, please enter this here. Step 8 is the shipper's agreement. Click I agree to confirm the terms and conditions of carriage. Page 2 is the customs paperwork section. This is required to be completed if you are shipping an international non-document shipment as this shipment will require customs clearance. You will notice most details are pre-populated from page 1. In step 5, Select the correct INCO term mirroring the previous pages who will absorb any applicable duties and tax charges. If you wish for the receiver to absorb any applicable charges, select DAP, delivered at place. If you wish for the shipper to absorb these charges, please select DDP, delivery duty paid. Continue on to step seven. Enter the description of goods, then confirm the quantity the unit of measure and the unit value. Example, if on the previous page you stipulated one piece to be collected with a total value of $1,000, then select quantity as one, unit of measure as pieces, and the unit value as $1,000. Enter the shipment's net weight, along with the country and state of origin. Proceed on to page 3 if you wish for the driver to be notified to collect the freight. If the pickup and shipper details match, simply click copy shipper data and the system will auto populate the pickup address. In area 2, shipment details, confirm the details of the pickup including the date of collection, the pickup weight and the total pieces. Confirm the shipment's ready time and closing time. In area number three, confirm the location of the collection. And in area four, enter any special requirements you wish to advise the driver. Next step is to transmit the data to our network. 
In the top right side of the page, please tick Process Shipment for the paperwork and request to pick up if you also wish to notify the driver. Click on Transmit to DHL. You will be presented with two options on how you would like to send this email. If you have desktop default email, e.g. Microsoft Outlook, simply leave as is and click on Continue. The system will automatically load a Compose email. The data will be auto-populated. This includes the recipient email address and the subject line. You simply need to click Send. If you do not have desktop email, select option 2, Use Webmail. You'll be prompted to enter your webmail client and email address. The form will automatically send from here to our network. If you cannot use either of these options, simply return to the form and at the top click Do not have desktop mail and unable to access internet email service. Click on Transmit to DHL. The system will automatically open a Save As box. Save your file locally on your computer. Next, go to your email and open a new Compose email box. The email address to enter is emailship at dhl.com. In the subject field, simply add the below text specifically. For paperwork creation only, and for paperwork and driver collection, attach the saved file and click send. With all three options, the form will be sent to our network and you'll receive a response confirming your shipment was created successfully, along with the driver confirmation if requested. The paperwork to print will be attached in the email. Simply open these and print accordingly, then affix to your shipment. Please note you'll require two copies of the customs paperwork. Thank you for using DHL Express.